The Picoscope 5000 series is the first flexible resolution oscilloscope that can make 8, 12, 14, 15 or 16 bit resolution measurements. Changing from one resolution to another is a simple front panel control that can be selected by the user. Internally, multiple high resolution analog to digital converters are employed in different time interleaved and parallel combinations to deliver either high sampling rate of a giga sample per second or high resolution of 16 bits and other combinations in between. But improved resolution is of little benefit unless accompanied by improved front-end performance. The Picoscope 5000 is specified with greater than 70 dB spurious free dynamic range. Next we'll have a look at a demonstration of the Picoscope 5000. This demonstration will show how the scope can switch from 8 to 12 bit resolution to reveal characteristics of high frequency noise that are interfering with a low frequency signal. In this demonstration I'm using a Picoscope 5444B flexible resolution oscilloscope to look at the characteristics of a low frequency sine wave. I have the instrument set up with a, a time base of 20 microseconds per division, 50 mega samples of buffer memory, 8 bits resolution. First measurements that I can make up with the the rulers here, so I've got the period of the waveform is about 50 microseconds, which means we're looking at a, a frequency of 20 kilohertz. I can use the horizontal rulers to look at the amplitude, so the peak to peak amplitude of the waveform is about 1.85 volts. There's also a range of automated measurements that I could apply to the waveform down here. But looking at that waveform, I can tell that there is, it's not perfect, there is some noise that is affecting the characteristics of that waveform. And I'd like to investigate that noise in a bit more detail. Most oscilloscopes have an average function, which delivers a, a mathematically averaged trace of the acquired waveform. So we can do that and see if it helps us to characterize the noise that we're seeing on this uh, sine wave. So we go to math channels, average, that's going to give us by default an average of the last 16 acquired waveforms. Turn that on and we can see the average waveform there, the one in the, the black trace there. I'll just freeze that for a moment and look in a little more detail at what it's captured with the zoom button here. Well, we can see again that the blue channel is the, the zoomed in version of the 8-bit acquired waveform and the black channel is the average waveform. It certainly cleaned up the information that we captured previously and we can see a few little peaks and troughs in there but it's not really giving us any useful information about the noise that is sitting on the top of the, the, uh, the low frequency sine wave. So we need to find another technique. Some oscilloscopes offer a high resolution mode which uses a, a boxcar moving average to generate a, an improved resolution image of the waveform. And we have that on the Picoscope too. So if I go into the channel menu here and we call it resolution enhancement and we can choose the number of bits of um, resolution enhancement that we want to achieve. So we'll, we'll go all the way up to 12 bits um, enhanced resolution here and see what it does for us. So we've acquired the waveform, we'll zoom in again and again we're seeing some in interesting information but the shape of the noise that is sitting on the top of the sine wave um, it looks a little strange, it looks odd and difficult to analyze at this point. So it, it still hasn't really given us the information that we need to draw any firm conclusions about the characteristics of that noise and from there what we might do about it. A unique feature of the Picoscope 5000 is its ability to switch from 8 
to higher bits of resolution. So in hardware, it can switch from 8 to 12, 14, 15, or 16 bits of resolution. So what I'll do for looking at this waveform is to switch to 12 bits of resolution. You might just hear a click from the scope as I make that transition. Now we're acquiring the exact same waveform but with more bits of resolution. So if I freeze the acquisition, then use the zoom tool to look in more detail of, at what's going on, now we can see with complete clarity what the characteristics are of the noise that's sitting on top of that waveform. And I can use the rulers to make some measurements on that. So let's have a look at the um, make a measurement of the period. So the period is about 1.1 microseconds. So the, the noise that is interfering with the waveform, with the, with the sine wave, is a little under 1 megahertz in frequency. In amplitude, we're looking at about about 37 millivolts but probably even more important than that we can look at the characteristics of it we can see that it, it is a triangular waveform that is uh, noise that's sitting on top of that sine wave so that gives us the information that we need to go and search for the source of the noise that is causing the problems to the to the uh, acquired waveform that we saw in the first place we're now seeing it with good clarity, enough to make measurements and draw conclusions which will help us to find the root cause of the problem. In summary, we've seen that the Picoscope 5000 series has a novel architecture in which multiple high-resolution analog to digital converters are used in different combinations to boost either the sampling rate or the resolution. The oscilloscope can sample at 1 giga sample per second with 8 bits resolution, or 500 mega samples per second at 12 bits. It can be increased to 14 bits at 125 mega samples per second per channel, revealing every detail of a signal in a crystal clear display and better than 70 dB spurious free dynamic range. If only two channels are required, then resolution can be increased to 15 bits and in single channel mode, all the analog to digital converters are combined to give a 16-bit mode at 62.5 megasamples per second.